What's up guys, it's Rob from OG Planet Gaming here. And today we're gonna to be talking about Monofer 2 vs Black Ops, Turk vs Infinity Ward, and my Monofer 3 Psych, and if I take if I pause it's probably because I'm taking a drink. So my throat stays wet and I don't cough up a lung. Let's begin. Monofer 2 was a very highly anticipated game developed by Infinity Ward, published by Activision. It takes place in modern times and you play as the U.S. Army Rangers and the British SAS. Black Ops, developed by Treyarch, published by Activision, takes place at some period in the Cold War, and you're an unspecified Black Ops unit. Let's talk about the campaigns of the respective games. Modern Warfare 2's campaign was very short, but it was a very fun campaign to me, because... It had a great storyline, great cinematics, very epic scenes such as defending Washington, D.C. It had a nice storyline to it, it was a very flowing game, and it was a really big plot twist, so it was very fun. Black Ops' campaign, I felt, was a good length for a campaign, about the same as the World of War campaign. However, um, it's very sporadic. It kind of seems like you jump all over the place. There's no real storyline to it besides the fact that Mason is a Russian sleeper agent and he still thinks Victor Reznov is alive, which I think is very bad and I don't like that idea at all. It's very sporadic, jumps around, and there was no real plot twist except for when you found out Mason was a sleeper agent, which you could kind of tell because he was having psychomatic flashbacks. And he pulls a gun on JFK inside his mind. So, you know, kind of made it a little obvious. Let's talk about multiplayer. Monofer 2's multiplayer got a lot of hate. There was the hate on the one-man army, the hate on the commando, the hate on the noob tube, the hate on the UMP. But... Now, if you think about it, it's not that bad. And if you go back and play Monster 2, and I know you guys are going to be like, Jesus, Robert, it's because all the noobs went to Black Ops. And I'll be like, yeah, I know all the noobs went to Black Ops. But if you go back and play it, they toned down the noob tube, um, and there's a lot of people, I guess, seem to realize there's no point in using the UMP anymore. You, you're seen as a noob. So let's use actually legit guns. It's a very fun uh, multiplayer. You get good guns off the bat, like the M4 and the Scar H for you 762 fans, which I'm one of them. Uh, you also get the USP 45 early. So the game starts you off with a good set of weapons. The maps are awesome. I love Monofortuge maps. Only a couple of them I dislike. Uh. Yeah, the perks are kind of overpowered, but, you know, it's, it's it's all good. You get some good snipers early on. Uh, you actually have to earn a ghillie suit, which is something I'll be talking about later. And overall, I really love Monofer 2's multiplayer. Black Ops multiplayer. To discuss this. Um, the maps are annoying as hell sometimes. Nuketown, everyone loves. As soon as it comes up, you vote it. It's not the greatest map, in my opinion. Um, and neither was Rust, but Rust was a lot more fun than Nuketown. Um, the overpowered guns you get in there, the Famous and the 7-4U, pick one of those guns, you're almost guaranteed to have a good game. Uh, perks are cool. They're all good. They're really balanced. Perks are balanced. Notice I said not guns, because guns are not balanced. But the only perk that irks me is how, no matter what gun you're holding in your hand, you put on Ghost, you get a ghillie suit. I do not like that at all. I, ghillie suits were developed by the Scots for hunting, and they're, they were used by the military for sniping. You don't see a guy running around with a shotgun in his hand wearing a ghillie suit, do you? And if you do, it's because you're playing Black Ops. Um, the... Matchmaking in Black Ops was kind of broken the first couple of weeks. It took a little bit to find a match. And zombie matchmaking is just broken forever. You always get the host migration. You always get kicked. 
the the make your own emblem des design was a really good idea by Treyarch, but it backfired because now you have the little five year olds running around with penises and boobs as emblems and stuff. Um, wow. and if the guns you get early on are cool, I mean you get the M16 off the bat, but it's not as good as the A4 in Mono for Two because it's the original. I know. You get the M14 early on, which is great for some people like me, because I love the M14. Uh, you can make your own... Not make your own. You can design and choose your own reticles and stuff, which is also a pretty cool feature. Um, it's not really used anymore, because people realize you can't really aim that well with a smiley face for an emblem uh, for a reticle. The attachments, they made the noob tube really weak and made it really expensive. But, you know, Black Ops is a very campy game. It promotes stabbing people in the back. The maps are very, uh, the maps have a lot of funnel spots where pretty much it forces you to stab the people in the back. And it's just, overall, I like Mono for Twos. Uh, multiplayer better. Specials. I'm going to have to hand it to Zombies. Spec Ops is fun, but nothing compares to a good old-fashioned game of zombies when you're just wrecking and getting to, like, high rounds and pack-punching and everything like that. Uh, so now let's talk about Treyarch vs. Infinity Ward. Treyarch made the series. Treyarch is what started this series. Treyarch is what... Um, actually, guys, take that all back. Replace all of what I said with Treyarch with Infinity Ward. Infinity Ward made this series. Infinity Ward... Advanced this series. Infinity Ward came, uh, prevented this series from becoming another Medal of Honor. This series could have easily been relegated to World War II, such as Medal of Honor did early on. Treyarch went back to World War II, which not a lot of people were excited about. Um, they were pretty irked off at that point. Um, Infinity Ward bought the series into the modern times. Everyone loves a good COD 4 game, except now there's too many modders to play it, but still. Uh, Activision kind of screwed themselves by pissing off Infinity Ward by not handing them the $4 billion with the royalties they were rightfully owed. And so now, you know, the whole Infinity Ward falling out happened. Let's talk about my psych for Modern Warfare 3. Modern Warfare 3 looks amazing. I'm not going to lie, guys. I am so psyched for it. A lot of people are apprehensive, especially after what happened with Modern Warfare 2. They're saying, well, it's just going to be another updated Modern Warfare 2. Which, to be honest with you, would be perfectly fine, in my opinion. Uh, they're taking out Commando. They're taking out Woman Army. They're toning down the noob tubes. They are... Uh, making it more team-oriented by giving you better accolades and more points and challenges for playing team-based games. Um, let's see, what else was I just about to say that I forgot to say? Campaign looks great. I love the way the campaign looks. You play as Delta Force, which, I mean, come on. How much more awesome can you be than being America's elite top counter-terrorist unit? The first SFODD. The graphics look... Uh, they look about the same as Mono for 2 graphics, but that's okay. Black Ops runs on World of War graphics, so, you know, can't really hate on the Mono for 2 graphics. I'd rather have Mono for 2 graphics than World of War graphics. Not hating on World of War or anything, guys. World of War is a great game, but just saying. Um, shoosh. What else was I about? Oh, yeah, they're adding... A lot of cool attachments, such as a dual scope, which is you just take a scope and then take like your holographic, and you get a two times zoomed in holographic. Adding new things, such as the nine bang. They're taking out dolphin diving, guys, and here's why: it was causing too many glitches in Black Ops and stuff. And uh, if you guys are asking, what do you mean by glitches? Well, if you combat dive and you get shot in midair. If your leg gets caught in a wall, your guy will have the most epic seizure ever. But the game's coming to an end, guys, so peace out.